Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott. We're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we're trying out this new uh, phone stabilizer to see how it works. But uh, Brother Phil decided to come in and we're going to put him on the camera. He's going to show you around and tell you a little bit about what we do. Anyway, All right. Here we are at God's Ten Commandment Park. Like we tell people, the heavens declare the glory of God. And when you come up here, the firmament shows God's hand. Amen. We have a lot of uh, signs we give away when people come out. If they'll display them, like believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, Bruce Roy will call in the name of the Lord. These are free. And then we have magnets like this. These magnets right here, if you go almost to any shine shop in America, are uh, 35 to $40 for one. When people come in, we have about 60 different designs. Uh, we simply give them four of them for 20 Amen. Right here we have t-shirts. Uh, trust in Jesus. Uh, right now we're in uh, 40 countries and 50 states. Uh, we have one here in Las Vegas. You can probably uh, put it in on Las Vegas Boulevard. A lot of a lot of miracles happen, and we wouldn't be doing this if something didn't happen. And we on the, on the seeds uh, that we've been planting and watering, but we see the increase. We see a hurting world, people that are broken. Jesus said he left the the the, 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 the 99 to get the one, and when he found it. There was rejoicing. The Bible says rejoicing Amen. in the presence of uh, the angels of God. Not over 99 righteous people that need salvation, but over that one sinner that repents. Amen. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the, you came up with a new uh, uh, plan for the 4x8 banners okay, the other well, day you were telling me about. The, uh, the maps over here of some of the places around the world. The people come through here and they put their little tag on there. So we're just grateful that we can have a place in the world, even though sometimes we get vandalized. But even a lot of times what they meant for evil, God meant it for good. So yeah. we do have banners. Now, the banners that we have, you can see, these are four by eight banners uh, an array of, of Ten Commandments, the name of Jesus. And what we want to do, uh, we want to take a 10 by 20 banner, and there's 3,142 counties. In wow. America. If these people would buy these banners, and a 10 by 20 will probably be 900 to 1500 wherever you go in America, if you go to a sign shop. So in every county, we'll give them eight of them. Eight of them for $100 each. Wow. Them up. Now, if they're faithful to put those up, we'll give them the next two for free. Amen. So right now we've got uh, these here little strips. When people come in, we give everybody one right here. Hope in Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And this is what I think the most important one we have in here. That is a beaut. This is 22.6. It's 4 by 8. Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. Right now, I think Scott said he'll send this banner that you can post it on your houses, your gates, you can put it on a shed, or you can put it in your front yard. Uh... These cost, I don't know, close to $200. Yep. Scott said he would send them out for $50, including shipping. Wow. So anyway, we want people to know that the Bible says in the 60th Psalm, the fourth verse, God has given a banner. <laughs> Amen. And that banner might be displayed because of the truth. Hallelujah. And only six, seven, and nine, Scott, and the people out in Facebook land that said we should diligently teach our children the commandments of God. Well, we're not. We should post it on our houses. Amen. Our you know, when we go to Second Chronicles seven fourteen, there's a condition there. If my people, if yeah, my the old people, if study. Yep. <laughs> who are called by my name will humble himself and pray, and they seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Now, the condition is, if you will do that, God said, then will I hear. I'll forgive your sins and I'll heal your land. So anyway, we're going again down to Belize. Oh yeah, and uh, we're going to be re releasing that soon on a, a GoFundMe. Me and Diana did pray about it, and we feel since uh, Susie and everybody's going together, we would like to okay. definitely join we'll you. So but anyway, we want you to know we believe. You know, the first verse in the Constitution of, of Belize, you can pull it up and Google it. It says this. It starts with this. Uh, the people of Belize affirm that the nation of Belize will be founded on the principles acknowledging the supremacy of God Almighty. That's awesome. I, I, I didn't the Almighty, but He is a God Almighty. <laughs> he's, a, he's a King of Kings. Well, anyway, there's six districts in Belize. It's an English-speaking country. Uh, there's three cities, seven towns, and there's 200 villages. And kind of uh, panning on this one right here, 
Uh, this is uh, one of the villages, and they all have a store. And we want people to know that the Word of God is quick and powerful. It's sharper than any two It sort of pierces the heart of every human being. Amen. And back in the 60s and the 70s when they took prayer and the Ten Commandments and the Bible and Jesus out of our schools, who benefited from that? <laughs> Certainly God and the Lord didn't benefit. Oh, no and way. You see uh, the dilemma we're in today. So we're trying to put it back uh, so people can see it. In 83, 16 in the psalm that says, Fill their faces with shame that they might seek thy name, O Lord. And... You and I believe there's one God we do well, but the devils believe in trouble. Amen. So if they saw these hundreds of times a day, thousands of times a month. Million times, times a year, huh? Exactly. And the Bible says in 8, 9 in Romans, if you don't have the spirit of Jesus, you're not in here. So Amen. if we come on back this way, uh, again, we got t-shirts. You can, you can uh, go to Scott or John Peters and ask us about those. Yes. We got these hats right here. Uh, a lot of places, these hats are close to uh, $20 each. We give you four of them for 20 Amen. So these are things that we're doing over here. My precious little wife made a, a few little signs for one. Uh, the, the word is a lamp under my feet and a light under my path. She's got the angel. He shall give his angels charge. And then she made a, a Christmas one. And unto us a child is born. Merry Christmas, holy night. And uh, you can see as we come around here, uh, we've got placements. We've got one right here that simply says, uh, uh, Jesus said I'm the way. Uh, the other one, God, all things are possible. What a great way to teach our children. Do you know that probably 99.9% .9 of the people in America cannot do the Ten Commandments in order? Now that's, a, that, that's a testament of the wronging of the church today by not put it in their heart. The Bible says, the word have I hid in my heart and, and I, I might, might not sin against thee. So once they learn these two commandments, I think we should reward them. God rewards us. He said he rewards the righteous. Amen. He rewards us for our work. So I think we should give every child in America that's willing to learn them a 5 or $10 reward because once they hit it in their heart, we're spending billions and billions of dollars trying to thwart crime. Let's try to do away with it and teach them. Amen. Children. Amen. And the other thing is, is uh, you know, once they learn them, the Bible says, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, we also have these little magnets with 36 different designs. I uh, like one, this one right here is train up a child. Uh, with God, all things are possible. And the challenge is this. Any print shop in America, you're going to spend $25 to $30 on one of them. If you buy 100 of them, they're probably, probably can't get them for less than $5, $6. In some places, they're $9 each. So what we want to do is we'll send you 40 of these in a flat rate box. The total cost is $50, that includes almost $10 shipping, and we ask you to hand one out a day. And you simply get up in the morning, you get prayed up and say, Lord, use me today. And you come up to a person and simply say, oh, there it is, can I give you a gift today? Amen. And so you give them a gift and you say, Jesus loves you. Or you simply say, God loves you, or you say, can I pray for you? Now, I'm going to tell you, people are hurting, a lot of people are weeping, and we wouldn't do this. Yeah. If people weren't hurting, why would we even do this? So you simply say, you know, Lord, the healeth the broken and heart, he bindeth up the wounds. I mean, we're trying to do good. If you don't see the darkness covering the land, uh, then I don't know what to tell you. You better get into the Word of God. And Amen. Hear. And if you want to be with Jesus for eternity, and you don't want to get to know him here on earth, the chances are you may very well hear, depart from me, I never knew you. That's why we get into the living bread, the Word of God. The Bible says in 138, 2 in Amen. the song, the Lord has magnified his name, above, his word above all his name. Now we have some more magnets. We have Bibles over yep. here. Uh, that King James. Then we have also these hair strips. There's like 23 different designs. Like, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're given by the blood of Jesus. But really join us up here in northwest Montana. Uh, we're about 10 miles from the entrance. And the last thing is, we, uh, we have these little mugs right here. Uh, we've got all things are possible. The sand's on them. They're really beautiful. We give you two for 15. And the last thing, if anybody's hungry... You simply, we feed people, and uh, we want to be a blessing. Say and, hi, uh, honey. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, all of this you can attest to Diana and Scott uh, for their obedience and being willing to come up here. We've, uh, they've affected thousands of people this summer already. And they know because they pray for people, and people <laughs> come in. They take banners all over the world. Yep. Tomorrow, a guy that came in here about 10 days ago, he got a 32 by 16 uh, foot banner in Cooperville. Uh, wow, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania yep. To today. And uh, 
When you realize when you're bearing fruit for the kingdom, you're a part of that. Amen. So anyway, we want to thank you for joining us. Come up and see us sometime. Uh, it, uh, contact Scott, and uh, we'd love to send you a banner, some magnets. Uh, try it for one month. Yeah. And if God's blessing you and people are weeping and you're being blessed, and uh, why wouldn't you want to do two, three a day to give glory to God? Amen. His word will never return void. Amen. It'll accomplish what God pleases. Hallelujah. And it'll prosper where he sends it. Well, anyway, God bless you. Join us and come and see us in Montana. Amen. Good word, brother. So yeah, this is Pastor Scott, and we're up here at the God's Ten Commandment Park. If you saw anything that you like, or if you just need prayer or word from God, just reach out to us, and we'll be happy to pray with you in agreement. Um, come up and see us any summer. Yeah, we're going to turn this around. Call us at one eight five five seventy jesus And then one more thing, Phil, was uh, we're going to give you a nice little panoramic of the the property here, and then also we can just going to show you one last thing that you guys can turn your car that's just a regular old car or truck driving down the road into a vehicle that gives God the glory. But watch this. Look at this park. Isn't it she beautiful? There's Phil coming out. So if you come up here, you're going to just come right in here. You're going to pass these beautiful flowers. It's be Jesus saves yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll show you this, too. Right out here. I'll pan this down. Right in the planner, it's going to say, I told you guys last week or the week before, it's going to say Jesus, and then it's going to say saves right here. But here's the property, then I'll show you the car. But yeah, we got all the billboards up here. The back of the yeah, we're going to show them that last. Get you guys all plugged in here. We got the crosses. Starts with Jesus way down there. And then we got all the Ten Commandments all the way around the park here's the visitor center and then the ten commandments go all the way around and it begins with jesus and it ends with jesus right over there by the tent but yeah this is just this was just a regular truck but now look it just like that contacting so probably used up all the stuff that other connection is god bless you guys if you want anything at all you need prayer you uh See anything here that you like, just contact us at 1-855-70-JESUS. This is Pastor Scott. Check it.